Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And this is part two of my trip to LA. If you missed part one, please make sure to check that out. But if not, keep watching. For those of you that don't know, I am a theater director by day and I'm here to bring a musical called Peace on Your Wings to the Aratani Theater in Los Angeles. After load-in day, which I shared in my last video, and the cast arriving the night before. Today is a new day and we are currently reblocking the whole show on the Aratani stage. Even though the cast knows the show very well up to this point, it takes a while to respace all of the scenes and dance numbers. Also, because I am a mom of a one-year-old, I am very grateful to read my husband who was able to come with us on this trip and just be that supportive other half that I needed. And he was able to watch Ellie when I was in rehearsal. So we're at USC's Trader Joe's and um, mommy's at rehearsal. So it's just me and Ellie and some of the parents and staff and came here to shop. And USC has built on their campus like a huge mall basically with restaurants, retail stores, uh, supermarkets, Trader Joe's, and Amazon Fulfillment Center. It's pretty cool. Yeah? So Ellie and I are just cruising. We bought a bunch of stuff. And we're gonna head back to the theater. Yeah. Do you want to go anywhere else? No. Okay, see you in a bit. Kiana, what do you think about this Trader Joe's? It's wonderful. I'm getting cheese. <laughs> Charcuterie boards. Yes. Halfway through our re-blocking rehearsal, we took a break for lunch and today we had Panda Express, which all the kids loved and it definitely was a hit. I apologize, the sound went off in this clip, but after lunch, we went back into rehearsal and next to me is Danny Bensky, who is the choreographer who's been on this show since 2014. And her and I, we work very closely together to bring this show to life. So now we are done with our re-blocking rehearsal and we took the kids and our family to Universal City Walk. This is actually my first time here. I've never been here before. But yeah, it's really cool. So many shops and restaurants here. Everything just feels very big. Um, we went in a couple stores. They have a Super Mario store and they have a lot of just regular stores that you see at the mall. Hot Topic, all, all kinds of stuff. Um, but in a little while, we're gonna eat at the Chocolate Emporium, which sounds yummy. I love chocolate. Nice day out here. What do you think? How was your day? I mean, what did you do? Reed had Ellie all day, so what did you do today? Um, well, we ran some errands with the Trader Joe's in the morning. Um, went to the Crypto.com Arena and went to the Lakers store, walked around Ellie Live, uh, and then went to Target on an errand run for Jenny and Lori, and then came back. Ellie took a three hour nap, and now we're here at City Walk. Oh. Hi! Let's try the screwball peanut butter first. It's the screwball peanut butter whiskey. Tastes like peanut butter, try it. Okay, then this is the chocolate whiskey. I had a recommendation. It's okay. Not as good as the peanut butter one. Okay, let's smell this one. That's yummy. What is that? This is the last one, the caramel one. Oh, it smells wonderful. It smells wonderful. I was actually going to say, it's probably really good in an Irish coffee. Oh, that's okay. good. You like the, the cookie dough one? Yeah. The cookie dough one, sorry, not caramel. Okay. She said that's her favorite. It's still... Mojo, I had a recommendation. Nice. Nice. So the, 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 it's the, good. I call it like champagne smooths. Okay, tell 
Oh, it's good. It's got a little chocolate. Oh, Ellie, something good. I got, I got. You guys eat it. It's like a mix between a muffin and bread. It's good. Mm. You like it? Yeah. Try it for the water. Oh, that's really good. Try it with a bite. It is hot. What is it? Hot candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. This is a red velvet milkshake with raspberry syrup and then whipped cream with a red velvet cupcake on top and then cream cheese oh. frosting on top Holy and then a maraschino gosh. cherry on top. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Are you going to have a sip? I'll have a sip. You know, you can only eat this kind of stuff when you're sick. I don't think it's reaching the I know. It, 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 it just burns it's off. Like I think it's like there. Brownie yeah. pieces I know. Oh, oh, I've been it for two years. Oh yeah, the brownie <laughs> stuck in, in the straw. What did you get? I got the braised short rib. Salad, and I got just a margarita pizza. How's your food? It's very good. Not good. I'm <laughs> uh, waiting for your soup. <laughs> I mean, there's also some Caesar salad. morning it is Thursday here in LA and today is our first run through of peace on your wings or dress rehearsal sorry of peace on your wings yesterday was a long day of reblocking and it took us a while too because we have two people that are playing sadako which is the main part and so we had to give both sadakos um, time to do certain songs but by the end we were we really were kind of in a rush so this morning we're going to a hibaksha event and the hibaksha are the survivors of the bomb um the a bomb and so we're going to be heading i think it's to higashi honganji with the cast and we're going to get to hear from them and so yeah i think it'll be a very impactful morning for all of us to be a part of here's aiko and we have reed and ellie and this is our setup here. Ellie eats her breakfast. We brought her chair this time um, this time around. And this is the hiccup pop chair that we love. And we have her bed here, the guava that we also love. And we also bring, wherever we go, we bring our portable um, sound machine for her so she can listen to white noise while she sleeps. Hi Aiko, how are you doing? Aiko, how old are you now? Aiko just turned four recently. Did you have a good birthday? Yeah, yeah, kind of shy. Anyway, so. Tell, tell the camera what we're gonna do today, Aiko. Where are we gonna go? Where are we going? The claw. Reed is watching Aiko today, and he is also taking care of Ellie today. And so. <coughs> How has LA been for you so far? What has this trip been like? Because you've been, been you've um, kind of been on different schedules a little bit. Been interesting. Been shuttling kids and taking care of this little one. And now I'm gonna get this lucky one today, yeah. And then uh, running some errands for Jenny and Lori and piecing your wings because nothing is ever complete when you come on these trips. You always have last minute things you have to do. Um, but yeah, it's been good. And then between been trying to work, that's been difficult. Um, but trying our best. Ellie's breakfast is PB and J, some blueberries. Oh, you ate all the raspberries. Good job. And she had some raspberries, and she's giving herself a clap there. Oh, all right. See you later, Ellie. So we are at Higashi Honganji now. One time, back in the day, Kathy, who lived in Japan, and she took us to a temple and she's like, this is the Nishi Honganji, but it was Higashi Higashi Honganji. It was the wrong Very temple. Similar. Since being on this project since 2014, my appreciation for the Hibaksha, or also known as the A-bomb survivors, has grown tremendously. I'm also grateful that the cast and crew 
had the chance to hear these stories of the Hibaksha, especially because they're playing characters very close to home to the people that have survived the bomb. We're at Higashi Hongaji right now. So tell me, what is the difference between Higashi? So Nishi means west, so it's the western temple of Hongaji. And then Higashi is east, so basically just based on location. Yes, but they are both Joro Shinshu, which I didn't realize until we Googled it. So t today we're at Higashi, tonight we're going to Nishi. Yay! Here is one of the A-bomb survivors as he shares his story of what happened on that horrific day. If this is the first video that you're watching of mine, you may not understand what this has to do with the musical that we are putting on at the Aratani Theatre. Just to give some context, Peace on Your Wings is a musical based on the book Sarako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, written by Eleanor Kerr. Sarako Sasaki was a victim of the A-bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. And she was 12 years old when she passed away. Hearing the Hibaksha stories was very humbling and an experience that I will never forget. It reminds me how important this message of peace is as we continue to share Sadako's story through this musical. After our fulfilling lunch, we had our first dress rehearsal and I learned that if you have a really good reblocking rehearsal, the dress rehearsal will go a lot better. So kids did great. I was very, very proud of them. This was the first time the cast performed with the live orchestra from LA and everybody stayed together. It sounded great and for the first time through, I was pretty impressed. After our dress rehearsal, we headed to Nishi Honganji for a dinner hosted by the Sangha or the members of that temple. They were so gracious and kind and we are so very grateful for their support with Peace on Your Wings. Well, so tonight's dinner um, has been put together by the Nishi, um, Nishi Betsuin and uh, they did it very much, you know, grassroots style here where every, I think all the temple members <laughs> excuse me, came together to um, make the food. <laughs> you know, cut the vegetables, kind of like a bon style for the cast. Um, and so we were like very touched and um, it's sort of the effort was headed up by Gary Kawaguchi who's an active member here and um, he's also one of the sponsors of our, our show. Having sponsored at a very, very, very high level but not wanting to take any credit for it. He's extremely, you know, humble. And then we have some curry and rice and some salad with Kathy and Kyle here. You guys know them if you watch the vlog. Kelly's mm. here. Hi, honey. Yes, hi. Mm. Hi, Cass. How are you guys? Hi. How was the first run through? Uh, it it happened. It happened. It was better than you guys thought it was. You know what, you know what was better than we thought it was? What? This. It's good, right? It's it really, so it's like so authentic and it looks like so yummy. Authentic. It's authentic. It's like, it's like, it's not like that. We have our crew here. Hi, Kai. Hi. 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 These are our chaperones yeah. and our stage managers on this table. Okay. And cast. Hi. How did you guys feel like the, the dress rehearsal one? First dress rehearsal. Oh, we could definitely. 
definitely it something, but it was pretty good. There's so always room for improvement. Yeah. That is the attitude to have. Yes, Amen. there's always room yeah. for improvement. Yeah. I love it. Yes. How's the dinner? Be it's, it's so really good. good. I'm going to so much. It's so, literally, it's my comfort food. No, this so is so good. good. Like, it's so good. Like, it's so good. Hi, Karen. I wouldn't know. Thank you so much for having us here. Oh, thank you guys for being here. So good. And have dessert. We have some cookies. We have some pumpkin bread. More cookies. Ooh, lots of kinds of cookies and bread. Excited to try that. Coffee and tea. I know there's a lot of us, so thank you so much for for all the amazing, amazing food. For, to Nishi Honganji and also to Gary, uh, because we wouldn't be here really without Gary. Since our first, since our first actually since 2015, he's been a supporter. And like, heading up the community heading outreach. A, yeah. Heading up, bringing the community together to really make this happen. So can we give a hand to Gary? <laughs> Two layers of the legs. Yeah. And then you fold it. Like, I there are others. Caitlin, I literally have paper. No, Just in look my at the yellow crayons. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I have. Good. I have done a thousand I crayons before. Know. I want to use. I feel like being yeah. on this show and not knowing how to fold a crayon. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm an imposter. So how? No, I, at lunch, let's learn. Okay. Okay. How's costumes? How's everything going? Oh, I'm having a blast. Yeah, we're good fun. today. Yeah, we're yeah. good. We're feeling silly today. Great, Auntie. The, so the hockey coats looked great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they <laughs> look so go. good. Oh. I ironed those. Yeah. Good job with the ironing. Oh, good job. Oh, they look yes. good. Like I don't know. I'm sure that's not what she was wow. talking about. <laughs> <but> <laughs> And while I'm at the theater, let's see what Reed is up to. So Ellie and I are at the Grove. We're here while Carrie is in the theater prepping for the show tomorrow. Ellie just took a nap. And uh, we're about to see if we can spot some celebrities and maybe do a little shopping. So, first time for the Grove, and um, definitely first time for Ellie. But um, heard there's some high-end shops and some really nice restaurants here, so we're gonna go check it out. Center of the farmer's market. It's got 
a meat market. It's got fresh produce. It's got snacks and candies. And earlier we walked through what was like a row of restaurants and food booths and kiosks. And um, this is the center of it. So pretty cool place to come and do your shopping. So we're about to leave the Grove. Uh, we had a good time. We ate breakfast here, walked around, bought some stuff. Uh, overall, this place reminds me of Disneyland. And I overheard a tour guide uh, taking a group around saying that the architect and the design team that built downtown Disney also designed the Grove. And so that makes sense because uh, the walking streets here, uh, the carriages that are going up and down, um, just the atmosphere, the music playing, uh, in different parts represent the different areas of the, of the shopping mall and then of course the high-end uh, and luxury stores um, the people that are walking around here just feels like real housewives of Beverly Hills and um, it's kind of neat to be in this area obviously you have to have a lot of money to not just live here but probably to shop here and while we we're here we saw several different uh, large dark tinted SUVs come through I'm sure dropping off some sort of famous or rich person to come in and shop so it's really interesting i'm glad that we came it's a good experience for ellie and a good experience for me as well so we're gonna head on home back to the hotel okay we just finished today is our last day of dress rehearsal we just finished dress rehearsal number two we went well overall danny is going to starbucks cast is eating we're gonna go to somewhere One more run. One more. And then we open then at we 2 o'clock. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So first we go shopping. Okay. Lunch today, okay, bye. Bye. Lunch today. Yeah. All right, Maya, what do you want? I'll take milk cake and cabbage. I'll take the and we'll have All right, back. Rice, 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 rice and mac salad. It's a local lunch. Only. What's in this one? Oh, Teriyaki chicken. chicken, yeah. Oh, chicken. good. Nice. How do you guys think this run went? It was actually it was good. It was better than yesterday. Okay, okay, it felt good today. Yeah. It definitely was better than yesterday. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, it definitely was better. So after lunch, we had one more dress rehearsal. So we had a total of three dress rehearsals before we opened. And I had Ellie with me, which was a lot of fun. She enjoyed listening to the music and just being a part of the overall experience. While we were ending our rehearsal, Reed got to go to the Angel Stadium for a baseball game. Shohei Otani is a really popular player on this team now, so everybody was in line trying to get something that had his name on it. Good morning, it is Saturday now. So we've been at the Double Tree, I think since Monday. So it's been kind of a long time in this hotel. Um, but today is show day, so we're super excited. We have two shows today. Uh, right now, Reed and I and Ellie are gonna get some breakfast. Just probably walk around a little bit. And then we are gonna head to the theater later. So keep watching and see how the first two shows go. I'm pretty, I feel pretty good about it. I think we had a really good tech week with all of our dress rehearsals and um, yeah, just everything we did this week loading in the show and all of that so it's going to be really fun and exciting and I know the cast is going to do amazing they sounded great and we're just looking forward to a great show how are you guys doing Thanks. how are you doing we're just waiting for the YouTube star so we can go eat oh my gosh okay restaurant called Aze, which is like right behind and across the street of the hotel we're staying at. And I read online this Carrie's favorite is Japanese style breakfast. So that's what they're serving. It's like a crab curry with rice and pickled vegetables. It looks good. This
<laughs> Just think about the space that you're in for a moment and think about your breath waving through your body like you the way of your body into the floor. Opening. How are you doing? Are you excited to see peace in your wings? Very excited. Have you seen it before? I've seen it a thousand times. <laughs> are you excited to see peace in your wings? Yes. Yes? Yeah, you know the music. Okay, and for lunch, we bought some sushi from the Aegean market. And what did you buy for yourself? It to be. Alright. Okay, it's gonna be Opening night, break a leg to the cast and crew. Break a leg. It's tradition that before every show, we circle up, and for Peace on Your Wings in particular, we usually have special guests that come to see the show. For this particular show, we were joined by the A bomb survivors or the Hibaksha that we met the other day at Higashi Honganji. Circling up before the show also is a way for us as the group to come together, ground ourselves, and remind us of the work that we are about to partake in as we bring the story of Sadako Sasaki to life. It is Sunday. It's the last day here in Little Tokyo. <laughs> and we have one more performance of Peace in Your Wings. So far, everybody did well. Unfortunately, last night, one of our performers got sick. And so we had to swap out the understudy. And the, this was his first time playing the role, but he did a great job too. So I'm um, just proud of our cast overall for, you know, pulling it together and continuing to do the best that they can and really coming together to help each other out. Hi. So one more performance. What did you think so far of Peace in Your Wings? Uh, I haven't really gotten to see it all the way through because I've been watching Ellie, but um, the kids sound great. They sound better than when we were in Hawaii theater. So looking forward to today. Maybe I can see the whole thing. Yeah. So after this, we are going to be loading out our set and we then are going to travel to Anaheim. Guess where we're going tomorrow? I will leave you hanging. All right, so anyway, keep watching and- We're going berry picking. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you probably at the theater. Last circle of this run here in LA and today is August 6th and it's the anniversary of the bombing that happened in Hiroshima. So it's a very special day and a very special performance. You guys excited? Yes. Kiana is Taiko. Jasmine, blue hair, is assistant stage manager. I do set changes with my SM, Kenji Sanahira. Yes. Alright, and we are going to circle up now. And here's Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi. How do you like all the shows? Oh, it's just terrific. Awesome. Awesome. You know, like really cherish this. It's very special. Like I, like for example, we all still keep in contact even though we performed like five years ago. So, yeah, just like really appreciate this. I think it's something really special. I like to think like like um, like everybody who's like involved in it because it's just like it's such a core memory for us. I think yeah. it's such a very very core memory to us. Like holds dear. So thank you. Alright, so we are officially done with Peace on Your Wings LA 
and it's definitely been a whirlwind of a weekend. I am exhausted, and but I also feel very proud and grateful that the kids did the best that they have done yet, and yeah, the show really just came together. And for those of you that came to watch Peace in Your Wings, just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support with the show and with this message of peace, and we really look forward to bringing it to Hiroshima in a couple of weeks. So it is now 8.45. We've made it to Anaheim, which took about 30 minutes with no traffic. And we are staying at the Best Western, which is right across the street from Disneyland. And so tomorrow, Ellie has her first time at Disneyland. Are you excited? I Yes, she said, I'm excited. So this is our room we're only here for a couple of nights and basically it's that door walk in and here is our bed it's pretty spacious we have a microwave and we have a fridge here which is nice and we walk this way oh and we have oh this is an interesting shower it's kind of like a step there was no boundary there. So this is our room. This is our bed. Come here. 